Yo what's up guys it's Atrix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at the brand new version of Winlater C mode Bionic Ludashi which is hands down the best version of Winlater with amazing performance even better than the Game Hub Windows emulator I'll be talking about what's new in this brand new update how to set it up and even testing out games like GTA 5 Lite version so to get started I have already added the latest version of Winlater C mode Ludashi on my Android device let's tap on this okay button and allow it this permission if you guys don't already know Winlater Bionic Ludashi is an open source windows emulator for android based on winlater but it is also based on the best version of winlater which is winlater c mode with the help of a bionic container it provides you with better performance and compatibility for unsupported devices with mali gpu as well as snapdragon processors the latest version of winlater ludashi was released 14 hours ago it is the ludashi 2.7.3 and there have been lot of bug fixes and internal improvements so once you add the winlater c mode ludashi on your android device let's start setting it up right away the first thing that we'll do is tap on these three lines afterwards go to settings in terms of box 64 settings set it to performance now there is a fix score preset added in winlater bionic ludashi make sure to set it to performance as well because bionic container uses fix score which will provide you with better performance while emulating windows games on android after simply tap on this tick mark option then create our bionic container for that go to wine version and make sure to choose proton 9.0 arm 64 ec not the x64 version this will provide you with better performance in terms of screen size you can go with lot of options according to your specific choice for example if you have a low-end android device you can go with 800 by 600 resolution or 854 by 480 so for today's video i'll go with 854 by 480p resolution even though i have a high-end android device i just want the best possible performance in terms of graphics driver you get only one option which is wrapper graphics driver here you don't really need to change or miss anything graphics driver version make sure to keep it as system vulkan version should be 1.3 tap on the ok button afterwards in terms of dx wrapper choose dxvk plus vkd3d and in terms of vkd3d feature level make sure to set it to 12 underscore 1 vkd3d version make sure to choose it as 2.8 dxvk wrapper in terms of the version go with 2.3.1 arm 64 ec once that has been done make sure to enable asynchronous if you want to afterwards tap on the ok button 64 bit emulator should be fixed score it cannot be change in terms of audio driver select pulse audio afterwards scroll down enable show fps as well as enable full screen go to advanced settings box 64 version will be default the performance preset should be used as well as for the fixed score version you can use the available fixed score inside it which is 25 august version in terms of startup selection set it to aggressive once that's done you can go to drives and add up directory where you store your pc games after you have completed all of this simply tap on the enter button and your windows container will be successfully created now all you have to do is launch your container and you will be all set to start emulating your PC games on your Android device. If we just go ahead and swipe back here are all the settings that you'll get such as screen effects, toggle full screen, pause slash, resume, PIP mode, task manager etc. And if we tap on the start button there are not many customization options unlike the winlater frost anyways we'll just go ahead and select the directory where i have stored my gta 5 lite version and we'll simply launch the game and see if it does work inside winlater bionic ludashi by the way if i just go ahead and go to task manager scroll down as you guys can see our gta 5 is about to start to launch the gta 5 lite version you'll need to wait for about two to five minutes as i told you guys previously in its setup video if you also want to set up the gta 5 lite version you guys can watch my video on the icard above let's wait until the game starts and then i'll be back and here we go guys exactly after waiting for five minutes our game has successfully started we'll go to input controls and make sure to add the gta 5 input touch control profile so we'll go to import profile section scroll down and make sure to choose choose GTA 5, tap on the OK button once it has been added, go back and choose the GTA 5 on screen touch control profile. Press the enter button after a swipe back, make sure to enable full screen, well I forgot that it's pre-enabled. Uh, because in winlater c mode ludash you get it during container creation itself now once the game starts it took me about five minutes by the way for the game to load you guys can see the loading is pretty quick within just five to ten seconds the game has successfully loaded we'll swipe back once again enable input touch controls because sometimes input touch controls disappear on their own but first of all what we'll need to do is change the graphics resolution uh, from the window to full screen so we'll just go ahead and 
Well, unfortunately, the game just crashed. So, guys, unfortunately, whenever I try to open settings, the game is crashing. I think this is just an issue with the GTA 5 Lite version which I am using. It is more optimized for the game of Windows Emulator for Android. Regardless of that, you will get stable 30 FPS. But as you know, if you disable VSync, then you will get more than 30 FPS. Just take a look at how smoothly our game is working. GTA 5 is not the only PC game that you can play on your Android devices. By the way, you can play so much more games like God of War. Marvel Spider-Man and much more and best believe guys you'll get the best performance in win later C mode unfortunately the touch controls are horrendous so make sure to use a keyboard and mouse layout along with that make sure to use a gamepad if you have any because just take a look at how sensitive my keyboard is like I can't even control it properly even if I turn a little bit left or right then the car is going all over the place I am able to get a hang of it now regardless this is GTA 5 Lite version running inside the win later C mode Ludashi and you guys can see the performance for yourself it is working properly on my device and i can say it is definitely better than game of windows emulator for android do let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about it that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time goodbye